Hey folks, Sam Luce here with Safari Pedals, bring you a brand new plugin. This is Rabbit Tape. So this is designed to give you some coloration, some character, some vibe, and there's two different tape emulation algorithms on this. We've got the reel-to-reel -reel setting, or we've got the cassette setting. Both give you an entirely different sound, and we've got wow and flutter in there as well to give you some kind of modulation effect. Let's just take a listen to what this can do to a track and the character that it can impart. So the first place that we really know tape emulations to be great for are adding some kind of subtle saturation characteristics to a full mix, and that's exactly what I've got here. Now, Rabbit Tape adds a kind of curve. It brings up the low end and it brings some bite in the mid range. And that is all down to this grit control, which is, you can just think of it as saturation. But let's just go over a few of the controls after we listen to this track. Okay, so you can hear the character that it's imparting there. A few of the controls that I wanna cover are the main input and output and the saturation. So input and output, as you bring the input up, if you've got auto gain enabled, then the output is gonna come down. So just to level match everything, just to make sure that everything's kind of at equal loudness to make a good comparison. Um, but we've also got the saturation control, which is really about the vibe. This is really going to impart that character on the audio. Um, and we've got, as I said, reel to reel and cassette. Now underneath there, we've got wow and flutter. Now these are extra attributes that tape can add. I'm not actually using them on this track, but I'm gonna be using them a little as we move on. And on a vocal, this can be absolutely fantastic. The width control, which you'll know from previous Safari Pedals plugins, is just gonna add some subtle widening and it really is making a difference on this track. If we listen to it with and then without, you're just gonna hear it just kind of narrow a little bit, but it's not that weird kind of phasey kind of width. It's just broadening things. So listen as I bring this all the way down, then I'll bring it up and just take a listen. To me, I love that on 100%, just going all out wide and it's really just encapsulating the listener. It's just spreading out around the ears. But let's bring up this um, saturation control. Let's bring it all the way down first and then we'll gradually bring it up and hear where's right for this track. Is I think I should start by letting you, letting you in. it really adds a load of grit to it. We can go gentler on this as well. I'm kind of pinning the meters here a little bit. So let's just do something a lot more subtle and just hear the the more, the, the slighter characteristics of it. Let's bring this input down. And as you can see, that's bringing the output up to, to match that. So let's bring this down and just hear what it's gonna do. Let's go to the verse. Everybody spends their life trying to keep on getting back. Searching So it's just adding a little coloration. It's kind of bringing up the tails of the sound as well because it's saturating stuff. It's gently shaving off the transients and just bringing up that low level stuff. And this is at really gentle settings. I'm not crushing anything at all here. Let's move on to a drum loop where I am gonna crush stuff and we're gonna take a look at that cassette setting as well. So pretty standard drum loop stuff.
we're just getting pretty crunchy. And this is on the cassette setting, which I've found adds a little bit more air and it kind of affects the low end a little bit differently. So it's kind of not quite as much low end, but it's giving you that aggression in the high end as well. So it's really making it kind of crack. Let's have a look at these controls because we've got the input kind of slammed. We've got the saturation, the grip completely slammed. And let's bring up some of the flutter as well, just to see how that's kind of affecting things. So the flutter is like a um, an amplitude kind of modulation. It's bringing the volume up and down relatively quickly. Now this is going to be more noticeable on maybe a melodic instrument, but it can add a nice kind of bit of crush to a drum loop as well because it's maybe bringing down just where the snare is or just where the kick is. So it just adds a little bit of almost randomness to it. but you can hear by really slamming that saturation on the reel-to-reel -reel setting, we're getting some distortion, some real saturation and kind of clipping on that low end. And it's really great for bottom end, adding some character to it and allowing it to be heard on smaller speakers as well. Adding the harmonics in there, adding some saturation and just getting some kind of grind out of it. So that's great, it works as a real crunch machine and you can see how in the previous example, you can be really gentle with it or you can get extra grimy with it as well. And this is program dependent, this is not gonna affect every track in the same way because different tracks have different harmonic makeups, different kind of stuff that, that make up the track. Let's take a listen to a vocal where I'm using this not just on 100% wet, I'm actually bringing the blend control down and with that wow control in there, with that flutter as well, it creates some modulation and creates almost like a kind of chorusing effect. We fly and we fall, but we don't fall apart. Break after break, each piece of my heart. Lovers have come and lovers have gone, but you still feel like right when the whole world feels wrong. They say it's the But memories for the shelf Well, I replay the moments and years of our lives While I'm praying and hoping there will always be you and I So that's a massive difference. It's really adding some kind of chorusing and adding some modulation as well as the grit. Now I've got the blend at below 50%. When we bring that all the way up, we're going to hear some real crunch, we're gonna hear some real aggression, but it's great to just be able to back that off, just say, I don't want quite as much of that, I just wanna blend it in. We fly and we fall, but we don't fall apart. Break after break, each piece of my heart. Lovers have come and lovers have gone, but you still feel like right when the whole world feels wrong. They say history repeats itself, but a the shelf while well, I replay the moments and years of our lives while I'm praying and hoping there will always be you and I. You can get really crunchy with this and it's really bringing up those tails. There's no hiding anything here. Everything of the lower level stuff is really coming up. Reverb is actually printed to this track so it's just bringing that all up and it's really encapsulating the listener, especially with this width control as well. I've got this almost all the way up and it's bringing everything up there. So the reel-to-reel -reel control is crunchier. That setting is going to give you a bit more 
harmonic distortion, a bit more crunch. The cassette is a little cleaner, but it's got a little more in the top end to my ear and it's kind of just adding a little bit of a shimmer over to everything. You can get Rabbit Tape at safaripedals.com now, as well as in the Everything Bundle with all of the plugins across the site. Thanks for checking it out. I'll see you again soon. Take care.